Okay. Today I thought we'd work on uh, an arm bar, but it's from a position that we've that we've worked on previously called mount. Um, let's think about mount as uh, the, the second most dominant offensive position for the person on top and the second most uh, dangerous position for the person on bottom. So uh, if I could have my partner here and mount with your head facing that way, please. Thank you, Daniel. All right, let's back just a little bit. Good. All right, so we've, uh, we've already clarified that mount is uh, my hips are on top of my partner's hips. It uh, is just like it sounds. I, I, I have mounted myself on top of him. If there are strikes involved, this is a really, really dominant spot for me. And there are very few effective strikes that my partner can throw from a bottom position here. Uh, his strategy should be to try to get back to some, some form of guard with his legs or to get back to his feet. Uh, we, we can talk about that in a later video. Um, oftentimes, new people, especially untrained people, will take their arms, if you're in here with a good mount control, they start to try to push you away. And that seems like a good thing for the person on bottom. If you are currently doing that, stop it because your arms are now in danger. Um, we're gonna look at the most b basic version of an arm bar from mount. My right hand, it, I, I'm right-handed, so I almost always go to my left. My right hand swims under and I'm gonna grab my opponent's tricep right behind his elbow. When I do so, I'm gonna pull him up to his, to his side and I put my knee right behind his shoulder blade. Now he can't go back flat like he was. This induces two things. So sometimes it will, it will convince them to turn over and, and give me their back to stay there, which is by far the worst position you could possibly be in. So if he is wise and does not do that, I'm gonna arm bar him. I like to post on their face. Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna be kind to our training partners, so I'm not like pushing really hard, but I just put my hand on his chin my right heel comes into my partner's left armpit and I'm gonna sit my weight on his hips. Now, you'll be tempted to fall straight back from here, but don't. First, get your leg, your left leg, your trailing leg in front of my partner. So, and I'm still sitting on him. Now, when I slide off, I want my butt where his shoulder used to be. I'm gonna pinch my knees together. I control the wrist and I'm gonna drive my belly button to the sky in a bridge, overextending my partner's elbow. So let's look at it from another position. All right, put your head that way. Good, all right, so here we are. We've got a good, a good solid control on mount. My partner starts to push me away, which is a very uh, common thing for untrained folks. I swim under and I'm gonna bring, I, I make what we call a false grip. I just grab him right behind his elbow and I pull him and I get my knee right behind his shoulder blade. Post on his face, heel in his armpit, my weight on his hip, my left leg swings around, and now I sit to my butt, pinch my knees, control his wrist, and bridge to the top. Last thing. So he's in here pushing. Swim. And there you have it. The most basic standard armbar from Mount. Thanks.